first Vogue was such an incredibly important show to me. It was my sexual awakening. It was the, my first exposure to the queer community. And so I, I felt I, it's always been really important to me to tell queer stories in my work. And um, I, I came up with an idea for the show and where I, I, uh, I wanted to re-envision queer as folk for a new generation. And for me, I, I, so I went to London, I went to Manchester, and I met Russell, pitched him my, my take about a community rebuilding in the face of a tragedy. And he loved it and saw it as, an, as, as a, a way to continue the legacy of the series. Um, and um, it's, yeah, it's been a dream come true, really. It's such an honor. I love it. I mean, the show is set in New Orleans, so, you know, which is one of the most unique, diverse intersections of queerness, uh, maybe anywhere. Um, and that was intentional because I think that's what queer folk for this generation really needs to be. You know, and there's still, the queer community is as diverse as literally the entire world. So, I mean, it's impossible to represent everyone and every facet because we exist everywhere in every culture. But I'm really proud of, of the diversity that we have in our show because it's, I think there's a lot of characters in this series that have rarely ever been able to be on screen before and that's just something that has felt important to me because it's the show is actually a reflection of my fam my queer family um, in so many ways.